Welcome to the 6th Annual Glasgow Film Festival and the opening gala of Jean-Pierre Jeunet's latest feature, Micmax. Micmax stars French comedy star Danny Boone and Jeunet regular Dominique Pignon. Boone stars as Basil, a man orphaned after his father is killed by a roadside blast. Now Basil is hit in the head by a stray bullet and believes the arms manufacturers have a personal vendetta against him. He assembles a team of misfits and plans an elaborate, hilarious revenge. I heard it's got that sort of classic uh, Joni sort of quirkiness to it. He makes such good films. So well, um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing his work tonight. This night's good, you get your goodie bag, and it's the guy who brought his Anna Lee. I was a huge fan of Delicatessen and State of Lost Children, and knowing that uh, I could be one of the first few people in the UK to see to see uh, uh, Mick Max. <laughs> Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the opening gala of the 6th Glasgow Film Festival. I, I'm Alison Gardner, the co-director. Um, I'm Alan Hunter, the other co-director. <laughs> I'm so glad we're opening the film festival with this because you will be laughing, crying, and you will definitely come out humming the tunes. Please join us in welcoming the director of Micmax, Monsieur Jean-Pierre Genet. Hello. Nice theater, nice people. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I won't speak a lot uh, right now because I, I think we are supposed to speak later. Yes. So it's always... Like, let, let me just explain what Micmac means because Danny Boone at the Toronto Film Festival tried to explain to American people the sense of Micmac. Micmac is not a Big Mac. <laughs> okay, that's the first time I, I have some laugh with that because I don't know why Danny Boone is much funnier than me. I don't know. Maybe you will understand, you know. <laughs> So have a good screening, and we, I see you later. Okay? If you want to leave after, I don't care, I have the names. <laughs> Mick Max is Jean-Pierre Jeunet's first film in five years, and is a hark back to the screwball spirit of his earlier film, Delicatessen. And it's a welcome return from one of Europe's finest directors. It was absolutely wonderful. It was funny and creative and... It was fantastic, yeah. Yes, I thought it was really, really wonderful. Yeah, I thought it was excellent. Yeah, it was a French Mission Impossible. <laughs> there was a Q&A session after the film with the director. You like the film? Oh, good. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every time we hear something funny on the real life, we note, we take some notes in the computer, of course. And in the first step of the work, when I found the concept of the film, it's to open the box and to choose the details they can go in, in the film, you know. For example, the story of the sugar in the cup of coffee, oh, perfect for this film. And this joke, oh, perfect. <laughs> and when the box is full of details, at this time we start to write. That's the reason I have so many details, because I, I try to follow the, um, the example of Pixar or Disney movies to, to have one idea per shot. The film does open in the UK on February the 26th. We'll be back at the cinema, so spread the word. Um, try and rival Amelie at the box office. <laughs> we'll do our best for you. Um, a big thanks again to E1 Films, but our biggest thanks goes, if you'll join me, in thanking Jean-Pierre Genet. Thank you for staying with us.